Hello oh guys and welcome to another episode of Funko Pops on the Rise. For we have some OG Pops to talk about, some of the latest Funko Pops that I've released. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss out. We got some fantastic pieces to talk about today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest Pops on the Rise videos. And also guys, if you could go ahead and hit that like button, I really do appreciate it helps my channel out and my videos out. And so let's get right into this video. We have some fantastic pieces to talk about. The first one is the Marty McFly. This was just a common pop released in 2014. And a lot of these pops, not all of them, are from 2014. We also have some newer ones from 2020, but the Marty McFly number 61, Back to the Future from that movie this one has gone from $17 all the way to 42 they are coming out with some newer back to the future pops which aren't going to be as valuable but this one has started to go up so this one if you're looking since the back to the future pops are coming out this one I feel will go up more than $42 so if you want to jump on this one I would if you do collect the back to the future pops the next one we have is the Cheshire Cat. We've seen this one jump up a little bit in price from the Alice in Wonderland movie on Disney. This one's gone from $33 to $42. They have released, they released a WonderCon Cheshire Cat this year for the WonderCon. So this one would be a great addition to that pop if you already have it. Um, and Cheshire Cat just looks amazing. Next we have the Time Machine marty mcfly back to the future and this one's gone from 45 dollars to 80 dollars this might be a good chance to jump on this one because like i said those back to the future pops are coming out soon we don't have a release date on those uh back to the future pops coming out but they are coming soon so be on the lookout to pick that one up then we have the yogurt pop from game of thrones this one has gone from 36 dollars to 60 dollars this is one of my favorite pieces from the game of thrones line as well as Jon Snow, but uh, I don't know the name of the act actress of Yigurt, but she and Jon Snow in real life have married, so that's kind of cool. But if you do collect Game of Thrones pieces, this one is starting to go up in value. Now we have another Game of Thrones piece, Holdor, and this one is gone from $23 to $35. This character is pretty interesting. He goes around saying Holdor, Holdor most of the time, so it's a uh, Interesting pop, definitely one you need in the collection if you are collecting Game of Thrones. Now we have the E.T. Extra Telestial Alien going from $15 to $39. Surprisingly, this pop looks like the character, so it would be one if you did if you did like the E.T. movie and be a great piece to have in the collection. A lot of the pops that I put on here are ones that I personally want or some that I may have, and I think that are just awesome pops in general. We have Roger Rabbit. Um, this was a Disney movie. I can't remember the name of the movie right now, but it's gone from $30 to $55. Um, this is a cool character in the, the movie. I, I've seen the movie, I just don't remember what the name of it is, but uh, one that's starting to go up in value a little bit. Crush from Finding Nemo from $39 to $50. My son loves Finding Nemo. Um, a lot of kids do. I mean, who, I enjoy Finding Nemo. Nemo, it's a great, great movie. So, and I think this one just looks pretty, like from all the pops on here, this is just a cute looking pop. If you're um, into Finding Nemo, I don't know why. I think the other Finding Nemo pops weren't as valuable as this one. I don't know why this one has gone up. Uh, and starting to continue to go up in value, but I don't know. I like it. It's a just a fantastic piece And my son would love to have crush. It's just he would destroy the box and just want to play at the pop Next we have the Captain Spaulding And I've seen bits and pieces of this movie. I never really got into it But this is one you see a lot in mystery boxes the captain the Captain Spaulding pop going from $99 to $115. This is an extremely popular um, pop. I think this is more of a horror genre, but uh, great, great piece. I've just never finished the movie all the way through. But uh, yeah, 
Next we have the rock going from $30 to $44. This is the classic rock. I don't know why this one is it worth more. I feel like it should. Every WWE fan wants this in their collection or already has it. So if you do have this pop, I definitely would hold on to this one. I foresee this one going up more in value here in the future. The Rock is a legend and will continue to, to remain a legend. And so I definitely would keep, keep it in the collection. I know they have some earlier pieces of The Rock, but this is definitely one of my favorite ones. Next we have Bebop from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have another one on here, but this one's gone from $50 to $70. So if you wanted to start collecting the Ninja Turtle line, or if you already have these, these are starting to go up. Then we have Rocksteady going from $52 to $70. This Rhino Pop is one of the cooler uh, villains from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is one that I uh, I want to collect, but it's starting to go up in value. So uh, definitely uh, be on the lookout to pick this one up if you are collecting the Teenage Ninja, if you are collecting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Next, we have Sam from Trick or Treat. I don't think I've seen this movie at all. Yeah, I, I, I might have, but it's been a while. But for this one to go from 50 to 105, I don't know why that is. Um, maybe they didn't make a lot of these. Uh, I don't know what these were limited to when they first came out But this was just a common piece that is starting to go go up in value. So um, Maybe sit on this one and um, don't buy this one if, but if you already have it, it's starting to go up It's a cool. It's a cool pop. I really do like it and maybe I need to check out the trick-or-treat movie But uh, I'm not a huge horror genre kind of guy. So but uh, this one's starting to go up a little bit in value but then I'll uh, Obviously, everybody knows that Tony Montana from Scarface. Al Pacino plays a fantastic role in this. From gone up from seventy dollars to one hundred five. This is a classic piece. Another one found in a lot of mystery boxes. I've been searching eBay to find a good uh, p price on this one. My next eBay uh, buying episode is probably going to be searching for this one and a couple other ones on this list. But the uh, this is just. One of Al Pacino's best roles. Also, just a quick side note too, uh, Al Pacino plays a new role in The Hunters, on, and it's a TV series on Amazon Prime, and it is pretty awesome. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. But definitely looking to pick this one up. Then we have the Darth Maul from the 2014 San Diego Comic Con. It's hard to get a good picture on this one because not a lot of people have this one. This piece was limited to 480 pieces, glow in the dark. It's only gone up $100, but this one has seen a lot of fluctuation in the past. And I mean, I would love to have this piece in the collection, but I don't see it um, going down in the future. I mean, it could pops always go up and down. I'll keep you guys updated on this one, but I'd still continue to sit on this one if you have this pop and you like this pop. It's not much you could say uh, more about Darth Maul. It's just one of my favorite villains from Star Wars, if not um, a favorite besides Darth Vader, obviously. But uh, I like how I like the holographic design on these. This one's faked a lot too, but there's a lot of differences between um, the real and the fake one. Next, we have the Ghost from Game of Th Thrones 2014 San Diego Comic Con going from $46 up to $75. This one has seen a lot of fluctuation in the past, but this is definitely a piece that I'm looking to pick up. Uh, this is just a, one of my favorite dogs from the Game of Thrones line. This is, uh, I believe this is Arya's dog, if I'm right. It's either Arya's or Jon Snow's, but I believe it's Arya's. But definitely a great piece to have in the Game of Thrones line. Next we have some newer pops that have released. Sorry about the picture, it's kind of blurry, but this one, believe it or not, is just a common piece. The Child has gone from $15 to $29. I think it actually might have been a little bit lower than that when it first came out, like around $10. So if you can pick this one up for, I think they, Amazon or another, a lot of companies are restocking on this one. Definitely pick this one up because this one is going to continue to retain value. They have the Target and the Walmart exclusive that you can pre-order right now. So I would go jump on those. The Mandalorian Pops have um, continued to go up in value and the exclusive ones are definitely ones worth picking up. 
Here's a Boba Fett from the WonderCon, gone from $15 to $33. This one I wouldn't pick up at $33. It's on the rise right now, but this one is going to go down. So they did release a lot of these, and you can buy these on eBay right now for around the $25, $30 mark. So it's an awesome pop to have in the collection, but if you um, wanted this one, definitely sit on it or wait a little bit before you go pick this one up. It's the same with these other ones, RTD2. At least for $17, now it's going up for $35. I could see this one going down to around the $25, $30 range. So if you can pick it up for that point. But just remember, it did come out uh, on Target for $17. So and this is a custom future pop. So this one is fantastic and definitely one that you need in the collection. Next, we have the Jarwa. It's going from $17 to $35 uh, in the camo Futura look. This one's a cooler look um, definitely one that it's not the most popular on here obviously the r2d2 the stormtrooper and c3po are the more popular ones but this one's still a cool piece to get in the collection this one's going on average for about 24 dollars so definitely pick that one up at that price point c3po 17 dollars to 33 c3po has restocked a lot out of the ones that have released c3po has restocked the most so definitely you could pick this one up for uh cheaper than what it's going for right now but but it's at $33 as we speak then we have the Naruto Naruto sexy jutsu when it released it went from $12 to $34 I'm still waiting for mine to get here or maybe it was still a pre-order I can remember when this was actually releasing box lunch exclusive release for $12 now it's up to $34 um, I can't remember if it's sold out if it's sold out and they don't restock Due to the COVID-19 thing, then um, this one will retain value. If you don't watch Naruto Shippuden, definitely you need to get in on that because Naruto is awesome. Then we have Goku eating noodles. This is an Amazon exclusive going for $31 right now. Amazon exclusives usually go for around $10, sometimes a little bit more. But this is definitely one that uh, would be awesome to have next to you, your Vegeta eating noodles. So definitely a great piece and then the last one we have is dried truth surprisingly this was a fye exclusive at least a couple uh, a while ago but uh, i think you get off of fye for 15 dollars. but recently it was selling for 26 and then it shot up to crazy 70 dollars because this is one of a lot of people's uh, a lot of office fans favorite episodes where dwight cuts the face off of a cpr dummy and it's just one of the more funnier episodes of The Office. And man, I wish I would have got this one when it came out. I just missed it. And it might restock if it restocks, which they usually do on the FYE. Um, but this one may not just because it, you, you guys know everything that's going on. So we'll see. But this one, if you have it in the, the collection, man, that was a great pickup at the time. So that concludes it for today's episode of Funko Pops on the Rise. This is for March Week 1, some of the latest Funko Pops and some of the OG Pops out right now. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Let me know if you're trying to collect any of these in the comments or if you already have some of these. Um, yeah, I'm looking to collect all these. Um, maybe not the Captain Spaulding, but it's a cool pop. Um, and if you stay with me all the way through this and you enjoy my videos, make sure you give it that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on my next video. As always, guys, big by big, collect all them pops. I will see you next time. Peace.